All right, if you've been to an open mic event, chances are it probably took place at a bar of some sort, right? The chances are there's video of it as well. So while there's a new program in Bangor, which is trading booze for brunch at its Sunday morning open mic as a way to kind of give artists of all ages the opportunity to perform. Yeah, and our Chloe Thibault joins us this morning to explain how a cultural grant from the city is going to help with this endeavor. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Sharon and Lee. Good morning, everyone. The nonprofit organization Launchpad was one of three recipients for the latest round of arts and cultural grant awards given out in Bangor. The money will help Launchpad fund its open mic program at the Bangor Arts Exchange for 12 months, quite literally giving performers of all ages a voice. Sundays in Bangor are quiet, unless you're at the 193 Exchange Street open mic. It gives people an outlet. An outlet to self-express and test out talents. We have a stage and a full sound setup, so it's very different than uh, what's being offered at other open mics around. Emerging you know, musicians really just need a place to perform. They need that first opportunity to get on stage and be in front of an audience. An audience that sometimes becomes part of a community. It's really intimidating as an artist to be starting your craft and not really having a direction. And so it's really nice to meet other people that are doing what you're doing and, you know, get that connection. A connection that brings together long timers. We've been playing for uh, about 15 years together. And new timers like Thomas Runko, who started playing guitar less than a year ago after breaking his hips. I believe music is a language unspoken and that even if a song doesn't have lyrics, people can feel what, it, what it's about. It's a message that speaks to the city of Bangor, which granted Launchpad $2,000 to fund the monthly program. The way that the city of Bangor gives away um, arts funding in order to act as a little bit of an incubator for the arts um, in, in central and northern Maine um, is, is really pretty unique. And the support doesn't go unrecognized. But receiving the grant from them is again like the difference from us not, maybe not doing or not doing the program. There's importance behind what we're doing and it's highlighting something that we're really passionate about and that we know there's a lot of passion in the area for. Now, the Launchpad Open Mic happens on the first Sunday of every month. Anyone is welcome to come out to watch or get on stage for free. Sometimes other open mic events cost a cover charge, so keep that in mind for the first Sunday in March. And the city is also looking for applicants for its next round of Arts and Cultural Grant Awards, which closes on May 1st. In Bangor, Chloe Thibault, New Center, Maine.